65 0116X Wedding Ceremony, Tucson, Arizona, USA. Wedding music plays for six minutes. Who will I ask for, for this woman to be the bride to this man? The bride's father answers, I, her father. Dearly beloved, we have gathered here in the face of this company, in the presence of God, to join together in holy matrimony this man and this woman, which is honorable as declared by St. Paul. Among all men, it is therefore not by any to be entered into unadvisably or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisably, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy state these two persons present come now to be joined if there is anyone here that can show a just cause why they should not be lawfully joined in this holy matrimony. Let them now speak or forever hold their peace. I will require and will charge you both as you will surely answer at the day of the judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed that if either of you know of any impediment why you should not be lawfully joined together in this holy matrimony, do you now confess it, for be it assured unto you that any persons that are joined otherwise than God's word does allow their marriage is un not lawful. But believing that you have duly considered the solemn obligation that you are about to assume, that you have prepared to enter upon the same reverently, discreetly, wisely, and in the fear of God, I shall propose to you the marriage covenant. You will declare the same as you join your right hands. The groom and bride join their right hands together. Will you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to live together in this holy state of matrimony? Do you love, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and health, riches of poverty, and will forsake all others and cleave thee only unto her? As long as both, as you, you both live, the groom answers, I will. Will you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together in this holy matrimony? Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and health, which is a poverty, and will forsake all others, and cleave thee only unto him as long as both, as you both live? The bride answers, I will. I will require a token of you that this covenant betwixt you that's been made will always be kept. Two rings are placed on Brother Brown's Bible, then offered to the groom for the bride, then to the bride for the groom. Now will you join your right hands together again upon the word of God. Let us bow our head. Almighty God, who married the first man and woman in the Garden of Eden, joining together your own creation, we do realize today that this commission has been carried out down through the ages until this very wedding. And Father, Thou art the only one who can join hearts one to the other. And we pray, Heavenly Father, as this has been done by Your wise counsel, that You have brought this young Christian boy and Christian girl together to unite in this holy ceremony today to be husband and wife to each other throughout their throughout life's journey. We pray that will bless them and bless their home make them an example lord in the neighborhood to where they will make their home in this day that we live when the divorce courts are so crowded and overrun with divorces may it never be so with this young man and this young woman god grant that they will be happy healthy make them fruitful lord and multiply to replenish the earth as thou did commission us to do at the beginning and as thou did bless Isaac and Rebekah, and they brought forth their faithful children, may it be so with this couple also. Father, bless them, we pray. And now, by the power of my commission given to me by Almighty God to be his servant, and ministered to me by an angel, I pronounce this man and this woman, husband and wife, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. You are married. The couple kiss. They face a congregation. The pianist begins playing the wedding march. Whatsoever God joins together, let no man put asunder. The groom, the bride, and the attendants live. Let us bow our heads. Dear God, as we have witnessed today, the two hearts can still beat as one. And we have just performed the ceremony and sent a young man and a young woman from 
their homes to go make a home of their own. We are minded, O oh God, of another great procession. There will be some day when Jesus comes to receive his bride. And as we witness the little lady standing spotless in her bridal gown, O oh God, may we keep our souls unspotted from the things of the world, that we might be loved by him who is our lover when we come to that hour granted, Lord, and we pray that your blessings will be with this, each of us. And may we live for that time when we will take part in the great event that this symbolizes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord bless you. Brother Branham makes the following comments after the ceremony. Sister Simpson, I'd like to congratulate you for a fine son-in-law. Looks like a wonderful man. And you too, Brother Simpson. The Lord bless you. Is the boy's mother here or the father one? Uh, someone says no, they couldn't come. Oh, fine. I guess the other children stand in congratulations. See like our brethren out there. See, well, looks like we should just continue on and have church. Doesn't it? All, all assembled and this would be a, a good uh, time to preach. Wouldn't it? After they are married. Well, I just got to start off to Phoenix now and go back there and start some of it. The services continue at the Westward Hall Ballroom tomorrow afternoon. Until then, may the Lord bless you all. Brother Dutch, it's really good seeing you again. Nice seeing you down. Where is Sister? She's in. Brother Dutch says, right over there. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yes. Looking right straight at you. How are you? The sister says, fine. Oh, fine. 